After departing from Jackson's International Airport, Admiral Davidson and his team were received by the ceremonial guards at the PNG Defense Force headquarters at Murray Barracks. Davidson was then escorted down to the APEC house at Ella Beach, where he was welcomed by APEC Minister Justin Tichenko and taken into the new building for a tour. Davidson said this was his first time in Papua New Guinea. He also announced that the U.S. will provide security within the perimeters of the APEC house. I'm pleased to announce that the United States has committed to assist with inshore security for APEC through our United States Coast Guard. Our partnership with Papua New Guinea complements Australia's and New Zealand's significant contributions to the security of the summit here in Port Moresby as well. This agreement reaffirms our commitment to the region, a commitment of countless decades to date and with no end in sight, I assure you. Furthermore, it demonstrates the effectiveness of partnerships to advance common ideals and values. This U.S. provided inshore element is crucial for the overall success and security of APEC because of the coastal setting of APEC House and important transportation routes. It reflects the U.S. government's commitment not only to a successful APEC but also to the overall safety and security of PNG and the Indo-Pacific region. As part of the inshore security package, United States Coast Guard transportable port security boats with coastal personnel will operate out of an Australian landing helicopter dock ship in cooperation with security partners from the PNG Defence Force, Australia and New Zealand Navy. During his visit, Davidson met with high-level Papua New Guinean government officials and military personnel from the PNG Defence Force and attended a closed-door meeting with the Prime Minister. Michelle Steven, National MTV News.